So, I want to talk about kicking and screaming these people who, you know, are so opposed to being saved that they're kicking and screaming to get themselves and stop themselves from being dragged into a place where they don't want to go. My oh my, no, we don't want to go to heaven. We want to kick and scream and make it our choice. Okay. People may be rebellious and God might speak to your heart, to a rebellious heart. And he might show you that you're a terrible sinner. And you may be a kicking and screaming, uh, no good, rotten, to the core, black-hearted person. Or, or even just a person who just does not bow the knee to God in pride. And will not admit that there is a God. And then God enters your heart and takes your kicking and screaming heart and shows it love and shows it who it is and convicts it that it's wrong and gives it a conscience and tells it, oh my God, I have sinned. So then the person who says, oh, well, no, God just tells us the gospel and says, you have a choice to rebel and, and, and to, and to, uh, you have a choice to, uh, if your heart's changed to see that you're a sinner, you have a choice now that it's been revealed to you that you hate yourself and you love Jesus and you found that that his saving grace will save you for who you are. So you've just been shown and your heart's just been changed. But now he says, well, but do you want to go back to your sinful life and what you were and do all the things that you did before? Are we, get, are we going to give you a decision here? You know, because, you know, I don't want you to be kicking and screaming, you know, on the way to, to heaven. You know, because maybe you just want to keep living the way you were living, even though it's been revealed to you by the Holy Spirit that 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 that, that horrifies you when He showed you that 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 what love is. So really, uh, the strange part of this whole thing about choice is it's it's rather ridiculous, because in the, in in the case of anybody who who repents and sees Christ, uh, they see that the Holy Spirit convicts them of sin. And, and then they'll say, well, every, the Holy Spirit went out into the whole world and convicted everybody of sin. So that's why they turned away from their sins. Or everybody said, oh, we're sinning and we just want to keep on sinning. And by the way, we want to go straight to hell. That's our choice. That's our decision. This is the Arminian point of view. Right? And I'm like, really? Because I really thought that it was like, oh, oh, man, I'm dangling on the end of a cliff. I've just fallen and I'm grabbing a hold of a tree branch. And I'm, I can't hold on much longer. And my feet are dangling down. Oh, and there's a 10,000 foot drop behind me with, with, with rocks and, and, and an inferno of a forest fire below. And, and you know that smoke is rising up and you're in terror knowing. And you see yourself and what you've done. And God shows you your heart to put a new heart in you. And you're looking up for somebody to reach down his hand and save you. And then he, somebody comes and goes, come here, grab my hand. And you go, well, are you a Calvinist? Because if, if it's my choice, if it's not my choice to grab your hand, you know, well, then that's not the other. So is there another God up there? Is there anybody else up there? Is there an Arminian up there? Oh, sure. Oh, uh, let me ask you, let me make sure that, uh, let me explain the gospel to you before I reach my hand. Are you holding on? Are you holding on? Okay. Listen, you have a choice whether or not you want my hand or, or not. You want my hand? Is that your free choice? I mean, it seems to me like there's a little pressure on you there. What? You're, you, you see that you're going to go to hell and you don't have any other choice? And that Jesus is the way and the truth and the life? And you want to come to the Father? But you want it to be your own will, right? Um, well, do you want to keep on living the way you're living? And, um, you know, just let me know. I mean, you're hanging, you're dangling from, for, for, you know, over the pit, the, the fiery pit of hell, and you're, and you're debating whether or not you want to be saved or not. Oh, wait, maybe I need to be kicking and screaming. Maybe you're kicking and screaming now. Help, the fire's underneath me. And give me a savior. Praise the Lord for the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, who saved my soul. And do I want a choice? Maybe I was delirious, you know, maybe looking back, did I make the right choice back then? Gee, I wonder if I could take it back. 